Hello everyone, this is Dale Pinkert with ForexStopHunters.com with our weekly stop hunt review. We're starting off with the USD CAD. I see buy stops being significant over this high that we had, which was the high of the move for the week. Comes in at 9987. And then you go to your sell stops, which are the low of the move that we had in Canada. A week ago last Friday, those stops come in at 9831. Moving over to Euro USD, I see potential block of buy stops here at 135.71, and then I believe that people will be trailing stops, and you could look for some above 136.21. As far as sell stops in the pair, I think that you have to look at uh, 134.95, the low of the break that we had on Friday, and then actually have to move out to a longer time frame, looking for sell stops to come in at the 133.95 area, which would be right here under this low. So now that we're moving down, layers of sell stops should continue 133.95 okay moving over to cable usd pretty vicious trading last week and i see the potential of buy stops above this high that was a high on friday 60.35 and then you have to go up to above the high that we had off this th three drive to a bottom formation at 161.37, excuse me, sell stops 59.62, um, that's going to be this low, and then you have to go to a longer time frame to find the next block, which can be, I'm sure many longs that have been long this pair are trailing stops under this 158. 19 level moving over to us dollar yen had an excellent week to the upside took out quite a few buy stops i now see some buy stops above this high which is 8367 and then you actually have to go to a daily chart because we took out this area right here looking for a block of uh, big stop hunts of people that remain bearish this pair that were still looking for new historic lows under that low of October of 8020, a lot of them looking for the 79 handle, not looking likely to me now. Never was. USD Swiss, uh, again, the risk pair having another good week. So I see the potential of some buy stops over the high that we had here on Friday before we had the pullback as the S&Ps recovered, looking at 97.83 and then because we've advanced and taken out quite a few stops and this is at 97.83 level above that you really have to start going to above par par 66 in swiss and as far as the sell stops we go back shorter term believe that there'll be people that are trailing stops wanting to play it very tight at 97.02 and then perhaps again here, uh, the low of the break after it accelerated down there at 9677. Moving to Aussie, which had a very negative week. I believe you're going to find some buy stops right around uh, the highs that we had in the session on Friday. That's par 32. And then I think a more important stop hunt for people that are short the breakdown and want to protect profits would be over this high. Of par 60 10066 and sell stops obviously could come in pretty tight here under uh, what may be a B wave at 9988 and again Friday's low of 9960 as you can tell we had a pretty negative week in Aussie sure there are major stop hunts on the daily if we get to a continuation of a bear trend which I think is possible uh, in the coming weeks even though I'm looking for a bit of a recovery and a, a place to enter 
on the short side of this pair, you're going to have a lot of stops under this 98 level. Eventually, I believe the major stop hunt will take out this low of 95.35 as I look for longer term targets down here around the 94 level, 93.94 level. So this is Dale Pinkert with ForexStopHunters.com with a look and a peek at the week ahead and critical areas where uh, you may be able to take advantage of stop hunts. Have a good week ahead. Much prosperity to all. And remember, don't just count your pips. Count your blessings.